Lucy and I are out and about thrift shopping today because it's my husband's birthday tomorrow and we're going out to an amazing restaurant for dinner and I'm looking for a thrifted outfit that I can wear. So our first stop is the Salvo store in Richmond. I love it here. Lena Piorentina. Interesting. I know I'm supposed to be finding dresses, but it's too beautiful. Me before the pandemic. <laughs> Me after the pandemic. Let me see. Well, no luck finding any dresses, but you know what? Home decor means more to me than clothing does, so I'm very happy. <laughs> friend JJ's house that's actually very nice past this place it's been closed. It's open, the doors are open. Feels like I'm not meant to go inside, but I'm gonna try.
a sheer blazer. Oh, that's funky. It even has pockets. Yeah. How long is cool? I really like that brand. So do I. <laughs> so do I. You know what? I think Dan would approve. Definitely. <laughs> Ooh. Abaduk Couture. Is that for the set? Yep. Yeah, I'll take it for this one. Hello, it's the next day now, which means it is my husband's birthday. And tonight we're going out for dinner and I was hoping that you guys could help me choose which outfit that I should wear out to dinner. So I've got my options back here. These are all the things that I thrifted yesterday. A little black dress is always going to be an appropriate option for an evening out. And this one is by an Australian vintage designer called Mr. K. When I say vintage, I mean probably about 20 years since Mr. K uh, was around in Australia. This dress is made right here in Sydney, which is a rare find because garments haven't been manufactured in Sydney in a very long time. It's very stretchy through here, which means I can eat a lot and still be comfortable. Option two is this cheeky little number from Topshop. Now, I've never bought anything from Topshop before, aside from a couple of days ago when we thrifted Sam a Topshop jacket that was only $5. This dress was 15 and I decided to go for it because I just really like how playful it is. It's got this completely sheer back on it. This has really beautiful detailing all over the sleeves, but because of that rhinestone detailing, I'm not entirely sure how I would style this one. I don't know what sort of bag that I would put with it. I, I mean, I could do pearls, but then do the pearls sort of clash with the diamantes? I'm not sure. This next one, I was not going to buy this dress, but Lucy and the shop attendant actually bullied me into it because they said it looked really nice on me. What do you guys think? This one is from the brand Chic, and it was $30, which is actually a bargain because Chic is very expensive. New, this would have probably been about 200, I would say. At the time, when I tried it on in the store, I didn't realize it actually has a little belt built into it. With the belt that's built in, you can tuck these loose flowing bits in to give your waist a little bit of definition. But the way that I tried it on in the store was just, I was just kind of walking around with it like a, like a bib. It would be appropriate if I was going to eat ribs, I suppose. But yeah, I was walking around with it like this. So it was just very loose like a butterfly. What do you think? Do you think it's better tucked into the belt or just loose and flowing? Anyway, this is the one that Lucy was advocating for for this evening. This next one is another vintage piece, but unfortunately it is so tight that I don't think that I'm going to be able to eat in it. This one is also the brand Mr. K. 
and unfortunately I can't quite zip it up on my own. This is the type of dress that you really need help. You need someone to hold it closed while you zip it up. And there's something about, darling, can you help me squeeze into this that isn't really the right vibe for my husband's birthday. <laughs> I do love the way that this sits, I love the neckline, I love the way that it flows out with the beautiful skirt. If this was one size bigger, I think that I would be choosing this one to wear out tonight, but the desire to eat an enormous banquet for dinner overrules my desire to look like Jackie Kennedy. I would say that this next one is probably my favourite. This is the Chanel dress. It does say Chanel on the tag, but there's nothing on it that could possibly authenticate it, and I'm fairly certain I did not just buy a $5,000 dress for $20. I just love the cut of this. I think it's so flattering. The puffy little sleeves, the length of it, the fact that it has pockets, its value to me is infinitely increased because of the pockets. The pockets have these little embellishments on them. This is the one that I probably would choose to wear out tonight. I don't know what it is about my husband's birthday and me wanting to wear red, but I've done it a couple of times now. And finally, one that is probably a little bit more Christmas party appropriate than birthday party appropriate, unless I wish to offer myself up as a birthday present to my husband, uh, because it does have the little bow on the back. I like it and I hate it at the same time. And I wasn't going to buy it, but it's another one that Lucy was like, you look very good in that, you should get it. And I thought, mm, no. And then the lady in the store was like, great for a Christmas party. And I was like, great for a Christmas party. So I ended up buying it. If I don't end up wearing this tonight, I probably will wear this to our Christmas party because it's so very festive. This is a very interesting dress. It's got this cool scalloping detail at the top here. It's got these very extremely pointed sleeves. We've obviously got the bow on the back and then we've got this little kind of slit as well. Uh, this thing just confuses me. I've got absolutely no idea what it's meant to be for, so wouldn't be wearing it with that, but it came with it for free. So if you have any ideas as to what I could possibly do with that thing, let me know in the comments below. But that's it. That is the outfit selection for the evening. Let me know which outfit that you think that I should wear to dinner tonight. I'm really happy with a lot of these pieces and I think most of them would be appropriate, but I feel like there might be one or two that are standouts. So if you could let me know below which one you'd like to see me wear tonight. And then if you tune back in tomorrow, you'll be able to see exactly what I wore out to dinner. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.